Joined by Arkansas senior offensive lineman Myron Cunningham. We'll ask uh, Myron to make a, an opening remark and then we'll take your questions. Uh, Myron, uh, coming into the 2021 season, uh, as we head a little bit towards the campaign, uh, what are you looking forward to and getting back out onto the field? I'm just looking forward to day one of the season, uh, September 4th when we play that first game. Uh, I feel like it's going to be a very exciting moment uh, coming into my senior season, and I'm just excited for it. Appreciate that. Uh, questions? Uh, we have Victoria, Lawrence, and Fuller that can bring a microphone to you. We'll start over here on the left-hand side, Myron, uh, with Tom Murphy. Hey, Myron, this is Tom Murphy, Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Sam was just telling us the number of super seniors and seniors you guys have. What does that equate to? Does that mean you, you guys make a big jump in the league? How, how can that benefit your team? Um, I feel like it'll benefit us, especially since we have all the super seniors. It's only bringing back knowledge of the game and experience through all the years that we have played. And the only thing we'll be able to do is pass it down to the young guys as we keep going throughout the, throughout the year. Okay, Myron, we're going to go over here on the right-hand aisle of the center section. Trey? Hey, Myron, Trey Biddy, hogsports.com. Coach Pittman has a bit of a, like a humble, kind of an all shucks uh, attitude up here in front of us. I was just curious, what is he like with you guys when you get behind the scenes, both, you know, like in a team meeting or just, you know, kind of one-on-one? -on -one? What's he like? Uh, I wouldn't say he's too much different. Uh, the only thing I would say is he's probably a little more uh, joking with us. He'll probably crack a few jokes here and there, but he's, he's not that much different. He's, a, he's the same guy you see up there. Okay, other questions for Myron? Raise your hand. Come back up here to the front, guys. Got a couple. We'll start with Bob first, and then we'll go to Tom. Um. Hey, Myron, I guess they're, they're going to have the, the, the media poll uh, tomorrow released. But in the magazines, you guys aren't picked real high. Um, is, that, is that a motivating thing? Um, after, you know, last year, you, you showed people you could do some stuff. Uh, or do you think you, could, you guys could be a surprise again? Um, I don't think we – people thought we were surprised last year. But in our locker room and in, in our group, we, we knew what we were capable of. So we weren't really surprised. Um, this year, we're just going to bring uh, our hard work and, and our effort to the field and just show people what we could do again. OK, we'll go right behind there with Tom. Uh, Myron, generating a pass rush uh, is seen as one of the biggest things Arkansas's defense needs to do. What did you see from the ends, guys that you blocked in spring? Is there a chance for an improvement in the ends? And can you talk specifically about the guys you think uh, are going to do something this year? Uh, I've seen a big jump in our defensive ends, especially from the transfers that we have gotten with uh, Trey Williams and Markel Utsi. Uh Trey Williams is very twitchy, and he's fast. And with his knowledge of the game, I think he's going to be one of our better pass rushers this upcoming year. Uh, Markel Utsi, um, he's very strong. Um, he could play the end, or he could play the three. Um, he flips his hips really well. I think he'll be a great addition to us. Okay, we'll go back down here to our right. Trey, right there. Trey Biddy, Hog Sports. Uh, Myron asked you about the guard position earlier, but there's a couple other guys that uh, I wanted to ask you about. Ricky Stromberg at center. He's made some preseason All-SEC lists and stuff. What makes him a good center? What makes him right for that position? Because he's played some other spots too. And then also Dalton Wagner on the other side, uh, another senior. Uh, what, what have you seen out of him, his progress, and, and what makes him a, a key player over there? Uh, as a rookie, um, something that makes him a great center, he's just, he's just very vocal. Like, uh, just like our quarterback, he would command the offense, and he's very assertive in what he says. And by being like that, it just brings us all along, and we believe in him, so that only helps him. Uh, Dalton Wagner, uh, he's improved uh, since I've been here, so uh, he comes in every day, works hard, brings his work ethic, work ethic um, and I mean, he's going to be one of our best tackles this year, so, yeah. Okay, we'll go back over here on the left side to Tom. Yeah, hey, Myron, uh, Sam told us that you passed up probably a couple of hundred, hundreds of thousands of dollars is the term he used, maybe a middle round pick. What do you need to do to put a better Myron Cunningham on tape this year? How, how do you improve yourself? Uh, I would just say sharpen my... Uh, Sharpen my skills, focus on the little things, 
little things they can give me be uh, technique wise, whether that's hands, eyes, like reading the defense before the play even starts. Okay, we'll go back over here to Trey. Trey Biddy Hog Sports. Myron, you're in your last year, but recruiting is always the lifeblood of a program. I was just curious, what is a recruiting trip, like when these recruits come in to Arkansas, how does that go for them? Like what are the some of the points of emphasis, hanging out with the players and stuff, any insight you can provide on that? Um, when recruits come on campus, we just try and show them like their family, that when they get here, they're part of the brotherhood and that we'll treat them as such. And we just tell them about the fans, that like they'll be loved here and it's, it's gonna get shown almost every time and every chance they get. All right, as we wait on other questions, uh, KJ Jefferson stepped in last year, played really well at Missouri. What, what, what does he bring uh, to the huddle uh, from the offensive side and what have you seen of him as he continues to develop? Uh, I think KJ brings a great swagger uh, about himself. Uh, he's very, he's getting more vocal, but he's very assertive in how he plays and he's very athletic. Uh, he's just got a great leadership factor and I think it's only going to help him. All right, well, come back up here, Fuller to the front with Bob. I know we talked a little bit about, about the barbecue deal, but just and I, name, image, and likeness in general for you know everybody on the team, everybody across the country, just how, how good do you feel? Because you guys obviously work really hard. It's like a full-time job. Um, just how, how good do you feel that these opportunities, whatever they may be, are coming for everybody in, in all the sports? Uh, I feel great. I feel appreciative because uh, me personally, I feel like athletes should have been able to make money off a name, image, and likeness. I feel like that's all right. Uh, but I feel like it's going to take college football in a, a great direction. We'll stay right there with Tom. I want to ask if you could describe what summer workouts have been like, where you've seen improvements in the team, maybe some guys who've, who are jumping up in leadership roles that might not have been last year. And then, specifically, well, I'll ask you about that next. OK. Um, <laughs> As far as summer workouts, it's been it's been tough. Uh, the heat gets pretty crazy out here, but uh, Jamil Walker he's he's been working us pretty good. Um, I don't know the running is pretty it's pretty strenuous, so he just tries to focus on uh, straining that little extra bit. You came over here with Grant Morgan. He's been at Arkansas for a long time now. It might be his sixth year. Yeah. But uh, what, what, what have you made of him from a, like a leadership standpoint? What do you think of him as a player and a leader? Um, as a leader, I think he's phenomenal. I mean, he definitely sets the right example for our young guys. And even for some older guys, he pushes us to be more than, the, than we are, even on the field or uh, in training. And as a player, I mean, He's great. He's great to say the least. Uh, he's one of the best players I've been around. Okay, we'll go back over here to Trey. Myron, you talked about KJ a little bit, and I'm just curious. He's a little bit different type of quarterback than Felipe was. Felipe could run, but maybe not as likely to run as KJ is. And I know you can't see behind you, but is there anything different that you guys do as blockers for a guy like KJ who's, who's maybe – more likely to, to scramble outside the pocket and, and try to pick up stuff with his feet and just any other tendencies that, that changes the approach to blocking for him? Um, no, I don't, I don't think the tendencies will change. Uh, I th just think that since he can run, like you said, he can run better than uh, Felipe could. I think that we just have to have that in the back of our mind. Uh, whenever we do b drop back to pass the ball, we just have to have that in our mind that he could be scrambling. So we just have to be ready for it. Okay, we've got a question over here on the left-hand side of the center section. Jarrell Rush in Tuscaloosa News. Myron, with everything being broken up and kind of makeshift last season, how hard was it to build team chemistry and what's something that returns this year that y'all that y'all missed, basically that will help y'all build more chemistry? Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it was too hard last year. Uh, I, f I feel like our staff did a great job and keeping us close and a tight knit group. But um, this year compared to last year, I would say that one of the things that we missed was just uh, getting together as a whole team 
I feel like last year we couldn't really do that because of COVID protocols, but uh, this year getting together as a whole team has definitely gotten us a lot closer. All right, Byron, thank you for your time. And good luck this season. Thank you.